Hi, we're out on the range today, so please bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Now, recently we did a presentation where I shot a 9mm rifle and pistol at a couple of different distances so we could observe the drop. And some viewers asked if I could do a similar demonstration except with 45 ACP. So here we are. Now, the pistol I'm going to use today is this Colt government model. And the rifle I'm going to use is this car arms closed bolt semi-auto version of a Tommy gun. It has a 16-inch barrel. And the ammunition will be Remington green and white box, 45 ACP, 230 grain metal case. Remington calls it metal case. So first I'll shoot these from 35 yards, and then we'll shoot them again at 100, and see how much drop we get. So I've got two targets set up. I'll go back 35 yards, and I'll shoot the one on your left with the pistol, and the one on your right with the rifle. And I'll aim center. And how do we do? Well, it looks like with the rifle, we're just about point of aim, point of impact as far as elevation at 35. And with the pistol, now I've got one flyer, but that's me. Looks like we're about three inches high. Now let's go shoot these from 100 and see how much drop we get. Now I'll go back and shoot these two targets from 100 yards, and again I'll shoot the target on your left with the pistol and the target on your right with the rifle. I'm going to aim center mass, but I've got these targets set pretty high on the paper because I anticipate a significant amount of drop. So how'd we do? Well, with the rifle, you see a lot of shift in windage, and that's mainly the result of, I can't shoot that rifle all that well. But as far as drop goes, we see really not very much, a couple inches maybe. But the real story is with the pistol. Now again, this is not a particularly good group. Granted, I am shooting offhand at 100 yards with a pistol, but still, it's not all that good of a group. But what we do see is, a drop of a great deal, about two feet. But we got to remember that not all 45 ammo is created equal. Now I'm shooting 230 grain round nose full metal jacket, or metal case as Remington calls it. But let's paste up these shot holes and go back and shoot this again with this Winchester silver tip 185 grain bullet and see how the drop compares.
So how'd we do? Well, again, I'm shooting a 1911 government model offhand at 100 yards. And again, not all 45 ammo is created equal. So, as always, don't try this at home. I'm what you call a professional. And thanks for watching the 45 ACP at 100 yards video.